How y'all doing, good people? I appreciate y'all joining me on this Sunday afternoon. At least it's Sunday afternoon here in Southwest Florida where I live. Um, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful weekend, um, enjoying yourself, having some fun, but also thinking about the upcoming week. Because obviously when you're in the building stage of wealth, you should always have a plan. You should always be thinking ahead about how am I going to make money, keep money, and multiply money. But we're going to talk about those things today. But before we get started, got a couple house cleaning items I need you guys to help me with. Number one, I need you to hit that like button as soon as you come into the video. Just go ahead and hit the like button. That's extremely important so that we can get YouTube to um, share this content with more people. The YouTube algorithm likes the like button. So the more times the like button is tapped, the more opportunity we got to help other people get to financial freedom. So please do me that huge favor. Hit that like button for me. And I really, really, really super, super, super would appreciate it. Also, if you want to get up to 12 free stocks from Webull, Webull is going to give you up to 12 free stocks when you open a new Webull brokerage account. Put any amount of money in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Click on that Webull link. Open up your new Webull account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Now, I'm going to also send you a Webull tutorial video that will walk you through how to use the Webull app to make your first trade. All you got to do is send me a DM on Instagram at richardfain28. Let me know you opened the new Webull account. Let me know you funded the new Webull account. And then I'm going to send you that free tutorial video to just walk you right through step by step how to use the Webull app to start making your trades for your favorite ETFs, your favorite index funds, and your favorite individual stocks. Let me make one correction. Cannot purchase index funds on the Webull app, but you can purchase ETFs and individual stocks. So let me make that correction. I just said index funds and that's incorrect. So. Now that we got those two things out of the way, we want to go ahead and dive in today's content. And that is the worst three lies they have taught you about money. Now, for those of you who have been watching my, my channel for some time, <clears throat> you'll know I talk a lot about the 1%. And again, I'm not specifically talking about any individual person. I'm just talking about collectively the people who actually control pretty much all of the money, all of the assets, all of the wealth in the United States. And, and I would say even the world, because I do have some international folks outside of the United States that watch my channel. So I would say the 1% represents the people that control 99% of the wealth in the world, right? So that's the 1%. The 99% are people like you and I who do not control the wealth in this world. But we'd like to be in a position where we can take a piece of that wealth, right? So that we are able to enjoy the things we want to enjoy in this life without having to worry about how we're going to pay for it. So the whole goal is for the 99% to take some of that wealth from the 1%, right? Not in a physical way, but just in a smart way, a reprogram reprogramming of our filter system way and learn how to do what? Earn, keep what we earn, and then multiply what we keep. Those are the three steps, right? But we're going to talk about, like I said, the worst three lies that the 1% has taught us. 
Now, you guys know, when you go to elementary school, when you go to middle school, when you go to high school, when you go to college, let's say you even go try to get you a postgraduate degree, nowhere in that educational system do they teach us about building wealth. What, are, what do they teach us? They teach us how to get a job. And there's a reason they teach us how to get a job because who controls our educational system in this country? The 1%. They control our educational system. So it's in their best interest not to teach us, right? It, not to teach us the things that I'm getting ready to talk to you about today. What they are teaching us are these three lies. So pay attention. The first lie that they teach us is that money must be actively earned. Now, what do I mean by that? I basically mean they teach us that in order to make money, you got to go out and get a job. You got to go out and trade your time for money. That's what they teach us. Elementary all the way up to, I don't care, the highest level of education you want to get. That's what they teach you. Go to school, study hard, make good grades so you can go out and get a job to continue making the 1% wealthy by earning your income and spending it on things you don't need. That's what they teach us in our education system, right? Along with that, they're teaching us that you have to get on that hamster wheel, right? You have to get in the rat race. You have to actively give up your time. You have to trade your time to somebody, whether it's an employer or in your own business. You have to trade that time in order to get money. That's earned income. That's actively earned income. That's the lie. And they, tell, they try and tell us, you got to do that till you're 65. You got to do that till you're 70. See, see, you know, in, in, in the United States, at least, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in the United States, you, you do know, you, you, you can, a, a normal person, I'm not talking about a disabled person or, or something like that, just a normal person who, who is not disabled, but, but and, and again, guys, I, I apologize if I'm using the, the incorrect terminology, but, but for someone who is not disabled, the age that you receive Social Security from the United States is like 62. Actually, I believe in order to get full benefits, retirement, it's like 67. So what they're teaching you is from 18 to 62 or 67, you got to go out there and you got to do what? You have to actively earn money. That's what they teach you from elementary, pre-K, all the way up to the highest level of education you want to get in this country. Why do they do that? Because they want you on the hamster wheel. You got to understand this, guys. They want you on that hamster wheel, right? They want you every single day, right, on that hamster wheel. Now, what they will throw in, they'll throw in some vacation days. Right. They'll throw in some some holidays. Right. But for the most part, you know, you're going to be on that hamster wheel 250 days a year, 300 days a year. Some of y'all are on that hamster wheel 365 days a year. You don't get no holidays off. You don't get no uh, um, vacation time. Right. For some of us, we're on that hamster wheel 365 days a year. Trade my time to get that paycheck, right? That's, the, that's the, the first of the three worst lies they tell you. I'm of the belief you don't have to actively earn. You can passively earn. What do I mean? Well, you can build assets, guys. And you don't have to exchange any time for money when you build assets that create passive income. But they don't teach you that. You notice there's nowhere, I don't care what level of education you go, there's nowhere in that educational system where they teach you how to not get a job. 
where they teach you, hey guys, guess what? You don't have to have a job for the rest of your life. Here's what you do. You go ahead and make some money. Yeah, you exchange a little bit of time for money. But, 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 but you get that money, and guess what you do with it? You start buying assets early, 18 years old. And by the time you're 28, 35, you're done. They don't want you to know that secret, though, see? Because they don't want you to be done at 35. They don't want you to be done at 30. They don't want you to be done at 40. They don't want you to be done at 50. They want you done at 62. Right? They want, they want, they want probably two-thirds of your life. They want you on the hamster wheel. Why? To make the 1% wealthy. While the 99% don't get any, don't get any, any break until at least 62 years old. That's the lie, guys. That's one of the biggest lies that they tell us through our educational system. Is that, yes, get your butt out there at 18 and work your tail off till you're 62. And at that point, we give you your gift. And the gift we're going to give you is Social Security. It's going to be a couple thousand dollars a month if you're lucky. That's the lie, guys. So you, 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 you trade in your entire life to working for someone or working in your business to earn a paycheck. And then they turn around, the 1% turns around and says, thank you for that 40 plus years of, of working and, and actively working. They say, here's our gift, Social Security, a couple thousand dollars a month if you're lucky. Is that, is that gonna be enough to take care of you? In most cases, no. In most cases, no. So you have to understand what they're teaching you, what they're going to teach your kids is get a job, work your butt off, every dime you get, spend it on things, and then in, in, in exchange for you doing that, at 62 years old, we're going to give you a couple thousand dollars a month to live on for the rest of your life. Does that seem like a fair exchange to you guys? I don't think so. I don't think so. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to get yourself out of that loop, right, in a second. But let's work through these other two worst lies they tell you about money. Number two, money should be your first priority. What do I mean by that? Well, here's where I'm, here's where I'm coming from. Part of that teaching, where they're teaching you how to go out there and get a job so you can work till you're 62, they're also telling you money is the only, only hey, money should be your primary focus. Money should be, that, that's what you need to focus on. See, see, it, with money, you can buy things. So you need to, you need to sacrifice your family. You need to, you need to sacrifice your health. You need to sacrifice your relationship with, with, with a higher being. You need, to, you need to sacrifice all of that for money. See, when you get the money, that's going to that's gonna give you, you can then go pick up the rest of this stuff. But without the money, hey, none of that stuff is going to be anything good to you anyways. So what you got to do is focus on money. You got to get the very best job you can get. You got to work as many hours as you need to work. You need to sacrifice everything you need to sacrifice because money should be your top priority. Why does the 1% want to program you to believe that? Because they want you out there working. They want you out there earning so that you can take that money that you're earning, not invest it. They don't want you to invest it. They want you to spend it on things. Why? Because they control all the things. They make all the things. They make all the cars. They build all the houses. They make all the watches. They make all the shoes and the clothes, the eyeglasses, the big screen TVs. They make all that stuff. The 1% does. So if they're not pushing you to work every second you can work, to earn every dollar you can earn, to then go out and buy all the things you want to buy, you're not successful. 
That's what they're teaching you guys. That's the programming from birth. From birth. As soon as you get yourself the pre-K, that's where it starts, guys. As soon as you enroll your child in the pre-K, that's where it starts. The programming starts. And the programming says, you need to make as much money as you can make. It should be your number one priority. When you get to 62, when we give you your Social Security, then these other things you can prioritize above money. But until you get to 62 and we give you your gift, and your gift is Social Security, a couple thousand a month if you're lucky, that's when you reprioritize and put things above money because now we're going to take care of you. Since you've spent the last 40 plus years making us wealthy, in return, we're going to give you this couple thousand dollars a month Social Security, and that's our gratitude. That's our way of saying thank you. Now focus on your family. Now focus on your health. Now focus on the other things that should be more important to you than money. Go ahead and focus on them now that you're 60-something years old. That's the programming, though, guys. Those are the things that were taught out the womb at as a baby, as a child, all the way up through graduate school, PhD. That's what we're taught. Work as many hours as you have to. That's part of that American dream. That's a part of it, right? We're programmed that way from birth. Now the third worst lie that the 1% tells you is that money will make you very, very, very happy. Money will make you very happy. Right? How many of y'all believe that? How many of y'all believe that your pursuit of money, once you catch it, see you're chasing it, right? But once you catch it, right, you're going to be happy. That's a lie, guys. Money is not going to make you happy. Money is simply a tool that you use to put yourself in a financial situation. Then you can go out and find the things that have nothing to do with money that really, really makes you happy, that brings you purpose in your life, that brings you joy, that you can be passionate about. I mean, who in the world wants to sit somewhere in their living room or in their office or in their backyard with a big old pile of money in front of them and just worship it. Oh my goodness, look at this money. Look at this money world. I got all the money in the world, but I'm alone. I got all the money in the world, but I got no friends. I got all the money in the world, but I'm not healthy. I can't really enjoy it because I sacrificed my health in the pursuit of chasing money and I just didn't take care of myself. I didn't exercise. I didn't eat properly. I just was chasing money. And I thought once I chased this money and, and, and caught it, everything in my life would change and I'd be this really, really happy person. Unfortunately, that's not how it works, guys. Because money is not going to make you happy. I hope you do understand that by now if you've been watching my channel for any period of time. Money's not going to make you happy, but that's one of the lies that our, our, our system, right, our programming system in this country teaches us from birth. It teaches us that money equals happiness. It teaches us the one with the most things wins. That's not true, guys. It teaches us there's nothing wrong with working to 62 years old. The average person is going to live to 85. That's what they teach us. It's okay from 16 years old, 18 years old, you work to your 62. Some people work to their 70 because they have to. It's okay. That's, a, that's an equal trade-off. Because then you're going to get to 62 or 67 or 72 or whatever age you retire. You're going to have about 10 or 15 years to really live it up. Thank you for giving us the last 
50 to 60, though. We appreciate that. We made a lot of money off you. Thank you for working your butt off. Thank you for going out and buying things to make us even more wealthier while we sit back and do nothing but reap the benefits from passive income. Those are the three worst lies that they tell you about money. And why do they do that? They're the 1%. That's what they do. That's how they build their wealth. That's how they stay wealthy. 1% of the population controls 99% of the wealth. 99% of the population works, trades time for money to get what? A social security check when they're 62 years old. That's not a fair trade-off, guys. That is not a fair trade-off. So how do, you, how, do you, how do you reprogram your filter system your brain, how do you reprogram it to, to turn these three things around? How do, you, how do you do that? Number one, you got to recognize that you've been lied to. You got to recognize that, right? You got to recognize that. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I've been lied to. Money is not going to make me happy. Money should not be the first priority in my life. And I don't have to work till I'm 62, 67 years old if I don't want to. I don't have to work that long. I don't. So those three things, you, you, you just have to realize it's in your control. But the 1%, they have you programmed that that's the way, that's the American dream. That, that's what Americans do. That's what people around the world do. They work. The only way you, you get anything, you got to work your butt off until you can't work no more. That's a lie. Is there work involved? Yes. Right? But, but, but you got to understand it's okay for a short period of time, for a period of time to trade time for money. I did it. I traded time for money for a period of my adult life. But see, the thing was, at 26 years old, I started reprogramming myself and debunking these three Lies. I, I, I started throwing them out of my filter system. And I said, you know something? I am going to trade time for money. But when I get my money, instead of doing what the 1% wants me to do, which is spend it on things I don't need to make them wealthy, I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take my money. I'm going to pay myself first. And I'm going to invest that money that I paid myself first before I do anything else. And what little bit I got left over, that's what I'll live my lifestyle around until I get to freedom. See, I started just reprogramming myself at 26. I said, I'm going to make this little money. I got to trade time for money, but I ain't going to do it for, I ain't going to do it till I'm 62. I'm not going to do it till I'm 70. If I don't want to, I'm going to be free. I'm going to start building assets from 26 years old. And at some point in the future, I'm going to be free. I'm going to get off that hamster wheel. And that's what I'm here to tell you guys today. That's what you got to do. I'm not saying, oh, oh, uh, uh, Richard said, I don't need to work. Just sit home and uh, 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 eventually there's going to be a UPS package that shows up that's going to have a million dollars in it. No, that's not what I said. What I'm telling you is, is reprogram yourself to understand that when you do go out and earn, you don't take what you earn and go buy things to make someone else wealthy. You go take that money and you exchange it in for investments, for assets that at some point will grow over time, and guess what they'll do? They will earn income for you. That's the difference. One's passive income, one's active income. I do not want to actively earn income until I'm 62 or 72 or 82. That's not what we should be doing. We should actively earn for a certain part of our life. And then after that, Boom, guess what? I actively earned, but I took my money, not making the 1% wealthy. I took my money and I put it in assets to make me wealthy. That's the difference, right? That's the difference from someone who says, I'm going to get out and work and believe what the 1% tells me in 62, I'm going to get my social security and I'm going to be good. No, no, because that $2,000 a month, if you're lucky, ain't going to be enough to take care of you. It's not. And if you know anything about Social Security, it was never designed to take care of you. 
<laughs> honestly. It was never designed to take care of you. So go and do a little bit of history on Social Security. It was never designed to take care of all of your financial needs when you get to 62. So don't worry about that. What you should be doing is saying, okay, whatever age I am, over the next 15, 20 years, I'm going to take this active income and I'm just going to over flood my assets. So that means in the next 10 or 15 years, if I got to live skinny, I'm going to live skinny so that I can live fat down the road. But I'm going to live skinny now. I'm going to live skinny and I'm going to take this money over the next 10 to 20 years, whatever it is, and I'm going to put it in assets so that at some point in the future, I control my own financial destiny. I control 100% of my time. That's what you got to do, guys. You got to start reprogramming yourself. This whole thing about putting money as the top priority in your life. If you guys have been watching these live streams, I did one a couple days ago, and I talked a lot about that. Money should not be your first priority. That's my opinion. Again, guys, this is an opinion channel. This is not a convince you channel. So if you don't agree with that, that's okay. I'm just telling you my opinion. I'm an expert at my own opinion, just like you are an expert at your opinion, right? I'm just telling you my opinion is money should not be the primary priority in your life. Or you're missing the boat. Or you're going to get to the end of the rainbow, open up your pot. You're going to have some gold in it, but you're going to be there all by yourself. Miserable. Shouldn't be your top priority. You got to find something else in your life that is going to be your top priority. Right? For me, for me personally, I'm not saying this is what's important to you. But for me personally, my relationship with God is number one priority. My relationship with my children or my number two priority. My relationship with the rest of my family and people are my third priority. And then the last priority is money. That's the last priority. Because see, I know when you reprogram yourself, the easy part is the money. The hard part are those other three. That's a lifelong journey, those other three, right? My relationship with God, my relationship with my children, my relationship with my family and other people, those are the three things that I got to put all my heart into. I'm not going to put all my heart into making money. That's not going to happen. <clears throat> because when I get to the end of that rainbow, open up that pot, all that gold in there, if I'm by myself miserable, it, what, 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 what good is it? I already told you, you cannot put that money in the coffin with you. When you leave this place, you can't. You can't. So you better find something else to wrap your heart around other than money. It should not be your top priority. Do not wrap your heart around money. Find something else. Right? Find something else. And then, like I said, the third thing. Happiness. Happiness. You know something, guys? I done been broke. And I've been in a position like I am now where I got money. And I can tell you, money does not make you happy. It doesn't. It does, it does not make you happy. What, what, what really moves the needle for me, what really moves the needle for me is helping people. And, and just so happen, because I help people, I make money. Just the way it is. Just so happens, because I have a heart for helping people through financial education. That, that's my passion. That's my purpose. As a byproduct of that passion and purpose of helping people, I make a lot of money. Because, see, I'm a firm believer in you help enough people get what they want, you get what you want. Right. That's the way I look at life. I say to myself, hey, man, when I get up in the morning, who can I help today? Who can I help from a financial standpoint? Now, I'm not out here trying to save the world. Let's not get that. I'm not. I'm not out here trying to save the world. What I'm trying to do is provide information that people who are out there 
looking for financial information to change something in their financial life, my goal, my job is to put that information out to the world. Those that want to use it, they use it. Those that don't want to use it, guess what? They don't have to. I don't concern myself with that. What I can control is putting the effort, helping people is what I can control. I can't control who actually accepts the health, help. I can't control that. But what I can tell you is that means more to me than all the money that I've ever made. Because see, this money, all it can do is buy me things. It can't do anything else for me. It can't keep me warm at night. It can't uh, nurse me back to health when I'm sick. It can't, um, it can't do any of those things that having good relationships can do. It can't. All they could do is be there to be used to buy something, right? That, that's not going to cut it. So, so I'm telling you, it won't make you happy. Back to that top priority thing. Those two go hand in hand, right? You can't make it your top priority. You just can't. And nothing wrong with saying, you know something, I'm finna run hard because I got I to gotta work 20 hours uh, a day for a period of time so that I can get myself to a point where I got a chunk of money that I can buy a piece of real estate or I got a chunk of money I can put into the market or I got a chunk of money I can start my business. I got to hustle and, and sacrifice for six months. I got to sacrifice for 12 months because I got to get this chunk of money so that I can, so I can free us up and get us on our pathway. See, your family will understand that. But there's no point of just trying to do that forever and, and you just have sacrificed your whole family for it. It, it, it. No, I don't believe in that. And, and, and I'm here to tell you, because early on in my career, early on, that's what I was doing. I was working all the time and missing everything. But I had to change that. I had to change that. And I wish I would have changed it earlier because I missed so much with my older children. I missed so much because I was pursuing money 100% full force ahead, which I should have been flip-flopping that thing and putting everything into them, but also building wealth alone, not just building wealth and sacrificing everything else. So I'm telling you this from experience. I've been down that path. I've been down that path. So do yourself a favor. These three things that I just talked about, these three lies, do yourself a favor. Ask yourself, is these are the three things that I'm living by? Because they're lies, right? They're lies, right? The worst three lies they have taught you about money. Money must be actively earned. Money should be your first priority. Making money is going to make you very, very, very happy. All lies, guys. All lies. All I can tell you is this, and then I'm going to wrap this thing up. You better have something in your life more important to you than money. I, 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 I want to give you that bit of advice. Find something that's more important than money. Now, money is a tool, like I said, though. We need money to do what? Invest in assets. Because we're going to need those assets to do what? Create passive income for us. So from 26 years old to 50, 24 years, I earned. I took the money that I earned, whether it be through my primary income, whether it was through side hustles, or secondary incomes, I took that money and did what with it? I put it in assets. I put it in paper assets, in the stock market. I put it in real estate. And those two asset classes build a level of wealth for me over that 24 year period. So then guess what I could do? I could just say, know something? Thank you, banking industry. I appreciate you allowing me to work in your industry and make you rich. But in the process, I made me rich too. Thank you. Bye. And I left. I thank them. Thank you 
for allowing me to make this money. I know I made you wealthy, a wealthier, but in the process, I also made myself wealthy because, see, I didn't take every dime that I earned in the banking industry and in my secondary side hustle. See, I didn't take that money and just dedicate it all to investing in the 1%. I didn't do that. I took care of my basic needs, but I took care of my basic needs after I made the investment in me into assets. Remember that pay yourself first? See, every dollar that I made, I took 30, 40, 50 percent, depending upon where I was at in, in, in my wealth building process. I would take 30, what, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent of that money and I would put it in assets so that they can grow over that 24 year period. That's what I did. I didn't take that money and then go give it to the 1%. And then be like, oops, I gave all my money to the 1%. I, I, I don't really have anything to invest in myself now, in my wealth. I've already, no, you got to turn that around. You got to pay yourself first. And then you live your lifestyle on what's left. And it should just be a basic lifestyle. It shouldn't be anything ritzy. That's what the 1% want you to do. See, that, that's how they got you programmed to think you deserve to live ritzy. You deserve to have things. You deserve the, the big SUV. I deserve the big house. I deserve this. I, uh, you deserve it all. You deserve it all. Yeah, you deserve it all because they want you to work till you're 62. They want you to work till you're 67. They want you to work till you're 72. Yeah. That's why they keep pumping all of this propaganda into your filter system. Every time you turn on the TV, every time you turn on the radio, every time you look at social media, every time you ride down the road, there's a thousand billboards telling you to buy something. Why? That's the 1% pumping that programming into you. Because you think you deserve it. Why? Oh, I'm going to be okay at 62. I'm going to get this Social Security check. I'm good. No, no. Social Security was never intended to take care of you, man. It's a supplemental income. It was never there to be your primary income. It's supplemental. That means it's, it's, it's an addition to. You gotta have something else already. And then they give you a little boost, a little boost. Social Security is just a little boost. It never was meant to be your primary income to take care of you, never. But that's what a lot of us believe. Why? Programming. That's what the 1% teaches you. Hey, go to college. Get a degree. In the process, run up hundred thousand dollars worth of credit. Uh, uh, run up hundred thousand dollars worth of student loan debt. They, don't, they get you. They get you both sides, right? <laughs> they get you to go to college, spend 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 k on the education to do what? Go out and make them wealthy. And on top of that, they charged you hundred k to do it in student loan debt. They charged you 50K to do it in student loan debt. They charged you 30K to do it in student loan debt. And on top of that, you're going out making them wealthy. They got you both sides, man. We got to stop this. Right? If you're going to go to college, you better find a, a high income skill set. Or what, what's the point of going? I'm going to go to college for I don't know how long you go. I, I, I'm going to have 70, I'm going to have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollars in student loan debt when I'm done. And then I'm going to get out and make, get a job making 40 grand a year. That's crazy, man. I just don't understand why people go to college and come out making 40 grand a year. You don't even have to go to college to make 40 grand a year. I don't get it. And then you run up 80,000 dollars in student loan debt to make 40 grand when you get out. To make 50 grand when you get out. But you got 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars in student loan debt. That is that the trap, man. I keep telling y'all, the one percent got y'all so trapped. It's crazy in this country. How the one percent got us trapped. Go to college. Uh-uh. You ain't gotta pay for it. You pay for it later. <laughs> pay for it later. Go ahead. We'll take care of all your expenses. We'll, 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 we'll get, you, get you in debt to your eyeballs. Yep, you ain't got to work while you're in college. We're going to overfund your student loan so that you can have a little money to take care of yourself while you study, while you go to the local pub and, and hang out with your college buddies. We're going to overfund it, but guess what? It ain't free. We coming at you when you get out, though.
and we're going to own you for the rest of your life till you get to 62, 67, 72. That's when we're going to let you go. But from 21 to 22 years old, we're going to own you all the way to 62, 67, 72. That's your trade-off, guys. That's the, the deal you're making. That's the deal that a lot of us have made with the 1%. We think it's a great deal because, oh, I'm going to college. I'm going to get out. I'm going to be killing it. No, a lot of us get out of college and know you're making no money. Mm -mm. We, can't even, we cannot even afford the basic things. We can't afford the basic things when we get out of college. So this notion of you got to go to college, you don't. Now, if you want to, go. I went to college. Fortunate for me, I was a pretty dang on good athlete, so I went on a full ride. I didn't pay for nothing. I didn't have to have no student loan. I, I, I had athletic ability that afforded me the opportunity to go to a, a Power 5 university, full ride, everything paid for. Didn't pay for nothing. But that's because I was a really good athlete. Everybody can't be a really good athlete. So what do you do? You got a plan. This notion of, oh, I don't want to work while I'm in college because it's going to affect my grades. Bullcrap. No, it won't. No, it won't. If you go to college and just take care of business, it won't. But if you want to go to college and think it's a social, social holiday, uh, well, of course I got to pledge. Of course I got to go to the, all that old, other crazy stuff people do in college. You ain't got to do all that. You can just get in there, get you a job, part-time job, get you, get you some, your, 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 your load. Let's say you take 12 hours, boom, work. Do it simultaneously. Hustle for four years. Give up some of this pleasure for four years. But no, we don't want to give up no pleasure. We'd rather go get student loans, don't work, get all these student loans, and then we get out, get this degree, whatever it is. We get this degree, we're making $40,000 a year, but now we got $80,000 in student loan debt. Problem is with inflation right now for you people just getting out of college, you can buy a house, number one, because they, 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 the interest rates are too high. Prices are too high. And then you're going to probably, you get out of you make 40 grand a year. Shoot, once you pay taxes, deductions, you're lucky if you, you make 30 grand. Your, your rent going to be $24,000 a year. Because you're going to spend a couple thousand dollars a month on rent. So that's 24 grand. If you're making 40 you got to pay taxes. You got deductions coming out. How you gonna make it? You, you, you're not gonna have no money. That's why you're not gonna be able to invest. In that situation, what do you have to do? You got to get a secondary income. I went to college. I got a degree. I'm making forty-five thousand dollars a year. That ain't enough. But guess what? I got free time. Instead of me using that free time to be a consumer. I should use that free time and be a producer. Go, go develop a side hustle. Go develop some secondary income sources. Get that income up so you can start investing. Because the earlier you can start investing, the quicker you get to freedom. The quicker you get off the hamster wheel. It's the truth. The earlier you can start investing in assets that build wealth and create passive income, the sooner you can get off the hamster wheel. That's one of my biggest regrets in my adult life is I didn't start earlier. If I could have started at 18, I'd have been done at 35, 40, done. But I didn't start till 26. And then when I did start at 26, snail's pace, because I was making 30 grand a year. Went to college. But the degree I got wasn't no high income skill set. So I had to start off at the bottom in banking. Worked my way up. Took me a little bit, but I did it. I didn't cry about it. I took that little $30,000 a year. I started taking a portion of it, putting it in the 401k, and then I start taking a portion of it, setting it to the side, thinking about real estate. Boy, in two years, I'm going to buy me a piece of real estate. I'm going to live in that real estate. I'm going to move out of that real estate. I'm going to put a tenant in the first property. I'm going to buy my second property. And I'm going to keep doing that on this little bit of salary that I'm making until I start building my net worth. And that's what I did with real estate. A little bit of money, tucked it aside, 
equity in other properties, took the equity out of those properties, put a down payment on another property, and I just did that every two years. That's why it took me 25 years. It, that's why it took me as long as it took me, guys. But, but you know something? At 50 years old, I was done, not 62, right? Not 62. No, I know some of you are saying, well, unfortunately, I'm already 50. I'm already 55. Matter of fact, I'm almost 60. What am I going to do? Well, all thing you can do is start your process of building wealth. You, you, you can't turn back the clock. You can't hop in a time machine and go back 30 years. You can't do that. So all you can do is just say, well, okay, boom. The past is the past. I can't worry about that. All I can worry about right now is, is I'm, I'm, I'm 50 years old and I got, I, I got 10 years. Over these next 10 years, I'm going to run hard. I'm going to delay gratification. I'm, I'm, I'm going to live a minimalistic lifestyle. That means I'm not going to be buying things. I'm only going to be buying the basics. And for 10 years, you just got to catch up, play catch up. That's what I try to tell a lot of these older folks that contact me. Well, you know, I'm, I'm 50 and I'm 55 and ba -ba 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 -ba. hey man, he, hey hun. Now I don't call him hun, but I, you know, of course I don't say that, but just, just to kind of give you guys where I'm going with this. Hey man, hey hun, you got to play catch up. You can't go back. There's no time machine. Right? There's no back to the future. Oh, oh, back. You can't do it. So what you got to do is you just got to play catch up. You got to double down. If I'm 50 years old and I got 10 year window, but I'm making a good salary. Okay. I got a decent salary. Plus I got, I got opportunity to do what? Be, be, be a producer in my off time. Let's say I'm giving, let's say I'm trading time for money 40 hours a week. I'm giving some company 40 hours a week and they're giving me a check, right? But after five o'clock to whenever I go to bed at night, I got that time free. I got the weekends free. See, instead of me being a consumer after I get off work, instead of me being a consumer on the weekends doing crap that don't make no money, I got to turn that time into being a producer, right? I got to figure out a side hustle. I got to figure out a secondary income. That's how you accelerate things and close and collapse time frames, guys. If you're not making enough money on your primary, you got to make more on the primary or you got to add secondary money, side hustles, second job, whatever. But if you're not willing to do that, you're fooling yourself. And I tell people that, hey, unless you're willing to go out and get a second job, unless you're willing to go out and build a side hustle, then you're going to be where you're going to be. Because the only way you get the wealth is through your income. There ain't no other way to get the wealth. Now, yeah, yeah. somebody will you know, give you something or, or you inherit something. But guess what? Most of us ain't going to get that. Most of, none of us are going to win the lottery. None of us are going to get no big old gigantic inheritance. Now, some of us will. But, his, but historical evidence says most of us don't. 88% of the millionaires in the United States are self-made. Only 12% inherited money. So unless you're going to be a part of that 12% that inherited money, sufficient enough to take care of you, then, then you lucked out. But, but, but statistics are against you on that. If you're going to be a millionaire or if you're going to get the wealth or you're going to get the freedom, 88% of us are going to have to do it on our own. No one's going to give us anything. So no matter what age you are, I don't care if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, it don't matter what age you are. First thing you got to do is figure out what am I trying to accomplish financially and what's my time frame? That's the first thing you got to ask yourself. What am I really trying to accomplish financially? Okay, I got 10 years to do it. Now let me roll up my sleeves and get to work. Let me go pull some information from different people or pull information from this guy on YouTube. Richard. Let, me, let me pull in some information and let me just dive in. And if I make mistakes, I'm going to get back up and try it again. I'm going to learn from that mistake and pivot and go a different direction, but I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm not going to sit here waiting for somebody to pour something into me or waiting for somebody to come hold my hand and walk me down the path of financial freedom because ain't nobody going to do that.
Ain't nobody going to walk you anywhere. You better learn how to walk yourself. But the good news is there's plenty of information for you to do that. There ain't nobody coming to save you. That's only in the movies. Nobody's coming to save you. In the real world, guys, you either win or you lose. There is no participation certificate. You either win or you lose. It's up to you. That's up to you. For me, I was going to win. See, I play this life to win. I, that's, that, that's, why I, that's why I'm here. I want to win. Now, when I say win, I'm talking about win based on what winning is to me. Now, getting a participation certificate is winning to you? Knock yourself out. Go right ahead. I don't want no participation certificate. I want the real first place trophy. That, that's, how I'm, that's how I was brought up. I was brought up that way. See, when I was coming up and you played sports or if you was in a spelling bee or if you were whatever you did, when I was coming up, there wasn't no participation certificates. There wasn't no, oh, winning doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you had fun. No, that's not life. See, that's another lie. People teaching people, these kids. Life ain't about no Oh, you don't have to win just as long as you, you, you had fun. That's not what life is about, guys. You're, teach, you're crippling these kids. You're, you're teaching them the wrong thing. Life is about winning and losing. Period. Now, that's my opinion. Again, again, this is just my opinion. This is not a convince you channel. So if you disagree with that, that's okay. But I'm just telling you, in my opinion, life is about winning. Now, it doesn't mean it's about stepping on somebody or degrading somebody, or waving or flaunting in people. No, I didn't say it was about that. I said it was about winning. Right? It's about winning. It's not about losing. It's, life shouldn't be about me saying, you know something, I'm 30 years old and I don't got no education and my people ain't had no education, so I'm just going to sit here and don't let, I don't know, I'm, I'm done. What the hell is that? No, that's losing. You have given up. Reverse that thing and say, you know something, I'm 30 years old. I know I'm starting off late. My financial literacy is weak. I know my people have done the best they can, but, 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 but their financial literacy was weak. So I'm starting from scratch. But guess what? I'm finna take action. I'm gonna get me a little bit of knowledge with a whole lot of take action, and I'm gonna change my life. And at the end of it, when it's all said and done, I'm going to reach my financial goals. I'm going to do everything I said I wanted to do in this life. That's winning. That's putting the list together, putting things together that you want to accomplish in this life. Prioritizing what's important to you. And then you knocking everything off of that list. That's winning. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It ain't about, oh, golly, I didn't win because I didn't get $10 million. I, I said... That ain't when, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, is when you close your eyes, when it's all said and done, you left everything on the field, the field of life. I don't need to take nothing with me when I leave this place. I need to leave everything I got on the field. That's winning. Each of us gonna have a different field though. The goal is, is to figure out what your field is. Figure out what you're going to leave on the field. See, that's how it was when I was playing ball. The coach, would, we, we covered the locker room, and the coach said, did you leave everything on the field? Did you leave everything on the field? And he wasn't looking for us to tell him, yeah, coach, we left it all on the field. He wasn't looking for that. What he was looking for was to get us to think inside of ourselves. See, we can't lie to ourselves. But we will lie to others. We can't lie to ourselves, guys. But we can lie to others. That's what he was talking about. He was said, telling us, did you leave everything on the field? Don't, don't lie to me. <laughs> because you can lie to me. 
but you can't lie to yourself. And that's what I'm asking you and telling you guys today to, 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 to make sure you leave it on the, the field of life. Again, you can lie to others, but you can't lie to yourself. Right? You cannot lie to yourself. And I wasn't going to lie to myself. So for me, it's about winning. It's about winning. It's not about getting a participation certificate. I don't need somebody to pat me on my back and tell me, that's okay, you, you, you didn't make it, but um, you're still a good guy. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need to be able to look at myself in that mirror and say, you know something, man, you left it all on the field. You left it all on the field. That's what I need for me. Now, I don't know about you. You may, you may be different. But, but for me, that's the way I'm cut. That's the way I'm cut. How you cut? What's important to you? Will you leave it all on the field? Or will you just make excuses for why you didn't get done what you said you were going to get done? Or are you just going to make excuses? Don't be a person that just makes excuses. Figure out a game plan. Don't let these three things right here get in your way, guys. Yeah. The worst three lies they have taught you about money. Don't let these three things get in the wind and I'm out of here. One more time. Money must be actively earned. Not for the rest of your life. Or a part of your life. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But not for your whole life. Not from 18 to 62. Come on, man. That's pretty much your whole life. So no, not your whole life. So that's a lie. Money should be your first priority. You already know how I feel about that. That's a bold-faced lie. In my opinion, it shouldn't be your first priority. Find something that's important to you other than money. Because if you can find something that's more important to you than money, guess what? When you get tired, when you don't want to go, go do what you got to do to earn and, and keep earning and investing, you're going to think about those things that are more important to you than money. If money is the most important thing, you're going to quit. You're going to just quit. Because you're going to be, you know why you're going to quit? Because you, the first thing you're going to say is, you know something? I set my goals too high. That ain't realistic. I can't get to a million dollars. I can't become a millionaire. I can't get to that $10,000 a month in passive income. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. But guess what? If, if I got something more important to me than money, guess what I'm going to think about before I quit? My hustle. I'm going to think about that's those people. I'm going to think about my family. Right? I'm going to think about my freedom. And I'm going to say to myself, shoot, I can't quit. My, my family depending upon me. My kids looking at me. I, I, I can't quit. I, I can't be a quitter in front of my kids. I can't be a quitter in front of my, my family. I can't be a quitter in, in, in front of these, these people who mean so much to me and who depend on me. But if you got money first, you'll quit. So do not fall into that trap. That's a lie, guys. Money should not be the top priority. If it is, you're going to quit when times get rough. When you hit a financial bump in the road, you're going to quit. Find something that means more to you than money, and you won't quit because you're going to think about them first. Right? You're going to think about them, and if you quit... You're not quitting on money, you're quitting on them. That's what's going to motivate you to keep going when you don't want to keep going. And then the last thing, money will make you very, very, very happy. And y'all already know that's a lot. We done talked about that enough. It will not make you happy. It will give you a temporary satisfaction. It'll give you a temporary tingle. It'll give you a temporary, ooh, goodness gracious, that's a nice watch. Ooh, that's a nice BMW. Ooh, that's a nice house. But it won't last. Can't keep you warm. Can't nurse you back to health when you get sick. Mm -mm. Can't give you memories that when you get ready to leave this place, those are the last things you think about are those memories with these people or whatever else that's more important to you than money. I don't know too many people that, you know, 
just sit around and worship money. I mean, that got to be a miserable life. I would think it is. So no, money can't make you happy, guys. It's a tool. It's a tool only. It's a tool to give you more choices, more freedom, and more time in your life. That's all money is good for, to give you those three things. Time, freedom, choices. It gives you more of those three things. If you do not build wealth, you will not have those three things. You'll have less time. You'll have less choices. And you'll have less freedom. So build wealth the right way. Win. Leave everything on the field. And I think you'll be happy you did. Well, thank you guys for stopping by this channel. I'm going to get on out of here. I know I done kept y'all for too long. I know y'all probably got other things to do on this Sunday evening, at least here in Southwest Florida where I live. Or whenever you're watching the video uh, format of this live stream, I appreciate y'all. I know I appreciate y'all 1,000%. I appreciate your support. It's been crazy over these last three years. This thing going to keep growing. I believe it's going to keep growing. Keep doing what it needs to be doing in order to keep reaching people, helping people get to what? Freedom. So they're going to have more time, more choices, and more freedom in their life. Hit that thumbs up for me, guys. As you tap out, please do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up for me. Hit it a thousand times. That, that like button is extremely important in my channel. It's extremely important to get the YouTube algorithm to, to, to get this content out to more people. Again, you may not agree with everything I say in my videos, and that's okay. I don't do these videos to convince you of anything, guys. I do the videos to give you my experience, to give you my opinion around financial matters. Whether you take a nugget or two, that's on you. But please give me a thumbs up for just the effort. If you don't mind, it really, really, really would be appreciated. Give me a thumbs up for the effort. For all you OG guys and gals who always give your boy a thumbs up, y'all know you're in my heart. I'm eternally grateful to you. Eternally grateful to you. You have changed my life. And I can't thank you enough. So I appreciate you rocking with your boy. Until the next one. Y'all make sure y'all share this thing too, man. Share it with somebody in your network. Don't make that decision for them. Just send them the link and say, watch this. Just send it out and, 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 and I would appreciate that. The more people you can share this message with, the more opportunity there are for people to get to their freedom. So please, share as well. Last thing and then I'm out of here. Guys, get up to 12 free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account. That link is down in the description box of this video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up that new Weeble brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for trying out the brokerage app. And then if you send me a DM on Instagram at richardfane28, that's Instagram at richardfane28, and let me know you've opened the Weeble account. Let me know you've funded the Weeble account. I'm going to send you a free tutorial video to walk you through how to use the Weeble app to make your first trade. That way, it's, it, it, it's really, really simple. Boom. I can go buy me an ETF. I can go buy me some individual stock, start building wealth, get to my passive income, get to my freedom. But you need a brokerage app to be able to do that. I use Weeble every day, and I have used it every day for over two and a half years. It's my primary brokerage account I use, right? So I wouldn't ask you to try nothing that I'm not doing. Y'all know I don't rock that way especially y'all OG folks that have been following me. Y'all don't rock that way. If I'm asking y'all to try something, that's because I use it. I don't, I don't peddle anything. I don't do any other propaganda or nothing else on my channel. Y'all know that. And I can because I get offers every day. But it's no. I got one thing to offer, which I use. So if you guys want to rock with me, click on that Weeble link below, open up the account, put some money in it, send me the, the DM that you put money in it, I'm going to send you the Weeble tutorial and then you're ready to rock and roll. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next live or the next video.